Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today's battle is amazing, absolutely jaw-dropping. You will not be able to keep yourself on your seats. That's how good it is. But anyway, today's battle is against Alto Maverick from the Discord server. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There is a link in the description down below. And with that being said, let's jump into the team preview. All right, Alto's brought a pretty good looking team. They've got an Enamorous Fairy and Goldengo, Sneasler, Zamazenta, a Dragapult and of course a Garchomp. So Weavile's going to do some work here. Ice Shard should be able to pick off the Dragapult if we get a bit of chip damage off on it. Uh, can definitely take out the Garchomp, no problems there. Weavile actually outspeeds Sneasler, I believe, which is cool. So we can definitely get some damage there. Some damage on the Goldengo. Um, if it's not Terra, the Enamorous Ice Shard, uh, Ice, Ice Spinner, I mean. Um, Dragon uh, Salamence will be doing some good work here as well. I think they're going to lead off with their Sneasler. I think they lead off with Sneasler or Dragapult, so I'm kind of tempted to lead with the Choice Scarf uh, Salamence to try and tra catch them off guard. Um, but I'm also tempted to lead off, like it has a good matchup, so I'm tempted to lead off with Sylveon. But if I lead off with Sylveon they go into the Sneasler, then I, I, I guess I just go into Elon Tusk over there. So I think I'll lead off with, Sne uh, with Sylveon because it, it hits most of their team other than the Goldengo for effective or super effective damage, so why not? And the battle begins, so Alto is going to lead off with Penny, which is of course the Goldengo. Why not? As we lead off with Carbuncle, the Sylveon. So they've probably noticed that we don't have the best switch-ins to Goldengo. Now, that is very true, and I probably should have foresaw foreseen this, but I didn't. So if we assume they're going to go for a Make It Rain, let's go into Elon Tusk real quick. We will lose the Air Balloon, but it's fine. And if we can get Stealth Rocks up, that'll be very nice. That'd be very nice indeed. So we'll go into Elon Tusk real quick. There we go. Get them Stealth Rocks up. Because it looks like they haven't got a Hazard Clear, which is nice. So they go for a Nasty Plot, which is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying, by the way. Um, we didn't see Air Balloon, I don't believe. Let me just double check that. No, it would tell us if we if it did have a... But I, either way, I'm going to go for a Stealth Rock. We outspeed. We should be able to take at least one Shadow Ball. Maybe not. I don't know. But I, I think they're going to fear the Earthquake and they're going to go into Enamorous right now. So they are going to Terra. Are they going to Terra Flying right now? Terra Flying would be pretty lit. It would be pretty cool, that would be. Terra Water. So Terra Water Goldengo is in. That would definitely be able to take an Earthquake. Um, that's for sure. But I really wanted to get the Stealth Rocks up. Break a potential Focus Sash on the Sneeze Lev. Get some chip damage on that Dragapult so Weavile can pick it off. I, I don't think we're going to have a problem with this Goldengo. We outspeed it with a couple of Bombons on the team. They do go for a Shadow Ball, of course. That's going to be able to KO no problem. Um, if we live, I'll be surprised. No, there was a crit. Never mind. Never mind. It, even if it wasn't a roll, it was a crit regardless. So Iron Tusk does go down. The Iron Tread, sorry. Um, now all we need to do is go into Calamity over here and we just go for a strong Psychic um, pretty much. There is no switch-ins to Calamity over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, we should be out of speeding here. Should. Which one's more powerful? That one or that one? Psychic's more powerful. So we're going to go for a Choice Specs Boosted Psychic. And I'm hoping it takes it out. And if it doesn't take it out, then so be it. Um, we've all have to finish it off. I'm pretty sure Goldengo doesn't outspeed Hooper Unbound anyway. So they do withdraw knowing that. And I don't know what their switch in here is. Really don't know what the Kisame. That's going to be the Garchomp. So Garchomp comes in nice and shiny. Look at that. Yeah, it's a bit grey. That's about it. Um, so we go for a Psychic. Wow, it pulls up a whole hoop. That's going to be able to nearly take out the Garchomp, which is fantastic work there, um, to say the least. Um, what we can do now is, um, now that we know that they're going to go for either a Stealth Rock of their own, or they go for an Earthquake, we could stay in, because then they can't hurt us. Well, they can't KO us, sorry. Um, and Hooper Unbound does not outspeed most of their team, other than the Goldengo. So, I'm probably better off switching into the uh, Sylveon, to be fair. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to switch in Sylveon real quick. Sylveon can definitely take a hit from this Garchomp, no problem. Especially if they decide to go for an Outrage here, which I don't think they will because Sylveon's right there. Um, they go for a Stealth Rocks, which makes sense. Stealth Rocks does make a lot of sense there. Our Rapid Spinner is gone. They don't have a Rapid Spinner, which is good to note. Um, there is absolutely zero switch-ins to a Hyper Voice on their team, so I'm going to go for Hyper Voice. They probably go for an Earthquake and get some chip off. There it is, there's the Earthquake. We should be able to tank this though because we are physically defensive as there we go. Hyper Voice comes through, Garchomp goes down. And Bob's your uncle. Bob is your uncle. There we go. 
Down goes the Garchomp. So that's one less Pokemon to deal with. In comes Vicky, which is going to be the Sneasler. So we do not have a switch into Sneasler on our team, I'm afraid. Um, they are got Air Bloom, which is good to note. We don't want to break that just yet. I could go Amoongus here, expecting a Dire Claw, but what do I need Sylveon for, really, anymore? I suppose Sylveon will be useful for later for taking on that Zamazenta if we need it to. The Zamazenta is going to be a tough one to crack, that's for sure. We need Hooper Bound for that, don't let me forget. So let's go into Amoongus real quick. Amoongus um, is not immune to Dire Claw by any means. It's going to hurt. It's definitely going to sting. But we can at least put something to sleep, other than the Goldengo, of course. So... We'll go ahead and put some Pointed Stones in our favor. They go for a Dire Claw. Not a 2 hit KO, but it could paralyze. It paralyzes us just as I said it. Just as I said it, it paralyzes us. Now, we've got a couple of options here. So we can either expect them to go for another Dire Claw here and then us break their Air Balloon, which I'm, I think they're banking on. So I'm going to go for a Spore. I know the Goldengo is pretty obvious, but no. They go for an Acrobatics. The Air Balloon is not broken, so that means it's not going to do it. And we got fully paralyzed. Are you kidding me right now? Are you actually kidding me? The Hacks is not on my side today. First the Crown Iron Treads, which probably didn't matter. Now the Paralysis on the Amoongus, which does matter because we could have put this thing to sleep. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again. I'm hoping they go for something else. They go for a Diaclaw. We don't live that, obviously. Um, so the best bet we've got now is... The best bet we've got now is Salamence, and that's saying something. Trillion Scarf Salamence, though, could do some work if we can hit the dual wing beat. Sneezler could also do some work here. Uh, Weavile can with the Ice Spinner, but it won't KO from there. I think Salamence is our best bet, so we're going to go Boomander. This will unfortunately reveal that we're Scarfed, so in comes the Shiny Salamence. Look at that beauty! What an absolute beauty that is. Absolute beauty. So we'll go for a dual wing beat real quick. And hopefully we can get a KO on this uh, Sneasler right now. They're probably thinking... He's probably come in. No, they're not, they're not, they're not. They're, they've figured out that we're Choice Scarf, haven't they? Definitely figured out. So they're going to Wendy Cooper, which is going to be the Enamorous, right? Yeah, there we go. Get some Stealth Frog damage, which is nice. We go for a Dual Wing Beat, which is going to do a decent bit of damage to them. There we go. Dual Wing Beat hits twice, which is nice. Um, now... This thing is a threat, so we're going to have to switch out. They're probably going to Calm Mind. Probably going to see a Calm Mind here, or a Terra. I think they're going to Terra Steel. I think they're going to Terra Steel and then Moonblast. Now, we don't have any switches to Moonblast. All we've got is Sylveon. So, we have to be careful what we do here. We have to be real careful what we do here, because we don't want to lose Salamence. Sylveon, let's just get rid of Sylveon. Let's just get Sylveon in here. And Amorous doesn't have Recovery. So the fact that we've weakened it a bit means even if it Calm Minds here, it's not that big of a deal. Sylveon should be able to handle this still. Sylveon should be able to handle this still. So they go for a Moonblast straight away. Does a lot of damage. No special attack drop, which is nice. And we get some leftovers recovery. They're showing their life orb as well, which is good to note. Good to note. So they don't have a good switch into this at all. What I'm going to do is... I am going to go for the Hyper Voice to KO. They do go for Moon... They are speed us somehow. I didn't know, I thought Enamorous Therium was really slow, like really slow, but I guess not. I guess not. So that is interesting. So what we could do now is we could go Weavile. We can go Weavile. I think Weavile's a good solid choice. So we'll go Weavile real quick. Nice and shiny. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. That's so much better than the original shiny. The original shiny is pants. Absolutely pants. And not even the good kind of pants, like bad pants. So what we'll do now is... If we go for an Ice Spinner, they're going to bring in the Zamazenta right now. No, they're not. They're going to let Enamorous go down. Okay, so that's fine. Zamazenta not coming in is fine. So Enamorous goes down, which is fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. We've all got a KO, which is nice. So in comes the Zamazenta. Now, this thing could completely ruin us. And I mean completely ruin us. Now, we do have Terra Fairy on the um, Hoopron Bound, which is great. We don't know what set this thing is. So the thing is, we can go to Hooper Man, we can live a body press if we tear a fairy, go for a psychic, the dual wing beat with the Salamence. Now, I am expecting them to go for a um, iron defense right now. That's what I'm expecting them to do. So I'm going to go for an ice spinner. I'm just going to let Weevil go down here. They go for a substitute. That's fine. That's probably doing more damage than my ice spinner would do. 
So I'm, I'm not planning on letting you get a substitute up, that's for sure. So we'll go for a nice spinner real quick. Took the damage. Should break. Yes, it does break, which is great. Now, we're in a bit of a pickle. Because this thing is very bulky. Now, they're not going to sit there and substitute. They might iron defense. If they do iron defense, then so be it. But yeah, there's the iron defense. So iron defense is unfortunate. Iron defense is really unfortunate. Like I said, Hooper and Bound could potentially do something here. I just can't risk the switch. I can't risk the switch. So we're doing enough damage to where substitutes will, um, you know, fail. Uh, substitute will still fade, sorry. So let's see how this works out for us. I, I really want to see how this works out for us. So the substitute comes through. They're going to see that we can break the substitute because we should be able to break the substitute still but based on the amount of damage the ice spinner did should still break the substitute should no oh we're in a pickle we are in a pickle so what we can do here is because they're more than likely going to attack us right now or iron defense again we'll go for an ice shard just to get the chip damage off to take out the substitute there we go should take out the substitute now substitute faded there we go because they can't keep going for substitutes because obviously they're going to run out of HP. And they've got leftovers recovery and everything. That's fine. If they go for a body press, that's going to take out the Weavile. That's great. Now we're in a better position. We're in a much better position. And do you know why we're in a better position? Because we still have good old Salamance with a Choice Scarf in the back. If we can get rid of this Samazenta, we are golden. We are very golden. So we'll go Hooper. We'll go Hooper. And we'll Terra. We don't need to Terra Salamance because ter Salamance is Terra Flying. Joel Wingbeat is not winning us this game. Outrages. 100% outrages. So we go for a side. Oh, I didn't Terra! I didn't Terra! That's not good. That is not good. I didn't Terra. So they go for a body press. Can we live? We don't live. I just threw the game. I completely threw the game. I didn't Terra. I didn't Terra. I, I completely threw the game. Didn't Terra. Threw the game. Completely threw the game. Oh dear. Salamence, can you please pull this back for me? All I need is a crit dual wing beat. That's all I need is a crit dual wing beat. All we need. I can't believe I threw the game by not terroring then. I should have terror ferried, eaten the body press, gone for a sidekick, taking this thing out. And then we would have been able to clean up with uh, Salamence after that, but I just completely threw the game. That's unfortunate. You know, it happens though. I'm only human, so we're going to terror go for the dual wing beat. There we go. Terra dual, dual wing beat real quick. There we go. And hope to God they're not... Well, they can't Terra their Zamazenta, obviously, because the gold then goes Terra water, but... Oh, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I didn't Terra. I can't believe I didn't Terra. So we'll go for a dual wing beat. There we go. Boosted by Terra. You never know. It might actually do enough to KO. But <laughs> doesn't do nearly enough. Doesn't do nearly... It's enough to KO it after that if we can live a body press. If we can live a body press. We don't. We live the body press? Salamence might actually pull this back. Salamence may actually pull this back. It depends whether the, the Sneasel has fake out or not. And whether we can hit all the dual wing beats. Because dual wing beats are 90% accurate. So dual wing beat comes through. We do outspeed because of the choice scarf, obviously. Oh, yes. Yes, Salamence. Thank you. Zamazenta goes down now. We're actually back in business. We're back in business. Terror Flying may have been the right choice for good old Salamence because now we're going to get a Moxie boost. Now Goldengo shouldn't be able to take a dual wing beat. Toothless comes in, the Dragapult. Now, here's the thing. Is this Dragapult going to carry Sucker Punch? That's the real question. I bet it does. Watch it. Watch it carry Sucker Punch. Watch it carry Sucker Punch. It doesn't! It doesn't! Terror Flying dual wing beat comes through. Oh, you're kidding me. You are kidding me. Cursed body comes through for them. Cursed body comes through for them right now. Are you kidding me right now? Cursed body comes through for them. That is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. So in comes Penny. In comes good old Penny. The gold Engo. Nice and terror. We have to go for struggle. <laughs> what a struggle. What a struggle. I did a lot of damage though, to be fair. It was plus two attack. 
But the recoil is obviously going to take us out, and that's going to be the game. So, unfortunately, I did kind of throw the game by not terroring my, um... By not terroring my, uh... Poop from Bound. But... Salamence nearly pulled that back. If it wasn't for Cursed Body, we would have won that. Provided we could hit the dual wing beats, obviously. But anyway, GG Alto, that was a pretty fun game. I actually really enjoyed that. All right, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.